Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about anatomy of dicot leaf. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, dicot leaves are called dorsiventral. That means they are dorsal. That means the back portion and ventral that means the front portion are not same they are different so the first layer is epidermis layer that is the outermost layer and this layer covers both the upper and lower surface of the leaf so the upper surface of the leaf that is this pink one this is called adaxial epidermis and the lower surface of leaf that is this pink one this is called avaxial epidermis. So, in both adaxial and avaxial epidermis, you will get cuticle. So, cuticle covers these two layers. Now, the avaxial epidermis generally bears stomata or you can say stoma. But you will not get many stomata or stoma in the adaxial surface. Sometimes you can get few. Sometimes you will not get any stoma in the adaxial epidermis. But stomata are always found in the abaxial epidermis. Next layer is this mesophyll layers. So mesophyll layer is present between upper and lower epidermis and it contains parenchyma cells and parenchyma cells contain chloroplast so they are green in color and they carry out photosynthesis there are two types of parenchyma cells or you can say mesophyll cells first is palisade parenchyma or palisade mesophyll and second is spongy parenchyma or spongy mesophyll. Palisade mesophyll is placed in the adaxial end and these cells are elongated in their shape and they are parallel to each other. Whereas spongy parenchyma are situated just below the palisade cells. These cells are oval or round and they are very loosely arranged. There are numerous large spaces like this and air cavities are found between these cells. Next is vascular system. So vascular system means xylem and phloem that we know. So vascular system is mainly present in veins and the midrib of leaf. And here this is the vascular system where xylem and phloem are found and they are surrounded by a thick layer of bundle sheet cells. The size of vascular bundles are mainly dependent on the size of the veins. When the veins are wide, the vascular bundles are also bigger in size. When the veins are narrow, the vascular bundles are also smaller in size. So the size of vascular bundles is dissimilar here. And dicot leaves have reticulate venation. So reticulate venation means the veins are arranged in the network-like fashion. So this is all about today's lecture. Hope you understood the concept. Thank you.